Spurs pulled up to L.A. Friday uh, for their final meeting of the season with the Lakers. And Wimby made a little history. So he put up 27 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 5 blocks, and 5 steals to become the youngest player ever to drop a 5x5. Five five. Uh, Wimby nearly accomplished the 5x5 the five five feat against the Kings on Thursday. Who was an assist short. And he was cooking. He only played like, what, 20, 29, 30 minutes, but he was doing his thing. Buckets in 80s. Yeah. I was at the game. It was nice to see the Lakers get a win. He tried to reverse that. Since Yusuf Nurkic, January yep. 1st of 2019. So, like I said, first 5x5 five five games of 2019. Do you guys five care? 5x5, five, five, what? Points, rebounds, assists, blocks, steals. Ooh. Are you actually, I thought you were about to, hey, Gil, is that actually impressive, impressive. to you? Impressive. That is okay. impressive. I mean, only a big man can do something like that. So, I mean. That's very that impressive. impressive. <clears throat> In the 90s. Michael. So, before Nurkic, who is that person? Let's let's pull it up. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we are live on the fly. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think uh, Draymond had one in 2016. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's pull up the list. I'm pretty sure. Shout AK, out to our AK. AK might have had one. Andre so, Andre. yeah, Nurkis. So, Anthony Davis had one in 2018. Okay. Draymond ba uh, Batum had one. Kirilenko. Kirilenko, okay. Marcus Canby, Kirilenko. Kirilenko had a few. Jamal Tinsley had one. Oh, now that's five impressive. blocks. 2001. Damn. Now that's impressive. But you said so, Batum also? Yeah, Batum. Tinsley had a what? Portland Batum. 12 points, 9 rebounds, 15 assists. Yeah, it was killing that day. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, your favorite big man, Akeem Olajuwon. Akeem, I mean, this sure. is a big, it makes sense for bigs, but... David Robson, Derek Coleman. Derek Coleman, mm. D.C. George Gervin. Okay, Gervin. nigga, we got it. Okay, <laughs> we got it. We got it. And he don't want to okay. go into the 80s. Like, don't, we going all the way back it, that far. It, <laughs> don't go that far back. Big man, <laughs> doing their thing, I get it. So that's the 70s or 80s. So after the game, LeBron yeah, had high right. praise uh, for the Spurs rookie. He doesn't have a ceiling. He doesn't have a ceiling. So um, he can do whatever he wants to do with his career. Um, he seems like he enjoys the game. He seems like he puts the work just from the outside looking in. Obviously, I'm not with him on a day-to-day -day basis, but um, you know, I've said it a long time ago how special you know he was, and uh, it's, it's literally that simple. So um, you know, as far as your, your question, as far as having you. It's got guys in our league that you have to account for anytime you get around the rim or around the perimeter, you know, in our league history. I um, mean, it sits right at the top of it. If not, you know, around the top of it all the days. Do you remember feeling that somebody was this good, this fast, since you've gotten into the league? Yeah. Zion, Luca, Kyrie, Anthony Davis, mm -hmm. Blake Griffin, Tyreek Evans. A lot of guys, there's been a lot of guys who've been great this mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's one, You just set the bar very high, so I'm wondering. He's one of them. Yeah. I mean, he's one, of the, he's one of them to have a like a stellar rookie season. Guys have come in and, you know, but it's, can you sustain it? You know, we've had guys that come in and just be, you know, really damn good. I think the one thing that Wimby has above all the guys that I kind of name is you see his length. You see how tall he is and his length. Um, you know, the guy next to me possesses a lot of length, and he's like <laughs> even more than AD. So that's what makes it a little bit different. But um, yeah, let's not get it twisted. He's not the, you know, he's special, but he's not the first guy to, to make an impact in this league as a rookie. Hmm. LeBron keeping it real. Shaw, are you still a Spurs fan? Are you still a Spurs fan? No, he's a Wimby fan. Thank you. Wimby, my phone. Mm. See how you be trying but, to pack me up? Yeah. No, no. Don't catch me up, huh? So, so what do y'all see from Wimby now, and where do you see him in the next few years? I mean, you can tell he's going to be special. I mean, because <clears throat> there's things he can do that's going to impact the game uh, besides scoring, um, you know, blocking. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to be runner-up or winning defensive player of the year this year, right? It has nothing to do with your record. It's, you know, your impact as the defender, and he's showing that he is an elite defender as 
a rookie. Um, now, the scoring, you know, once he starts getting into his own, you know, the, the shit he tries as a, a rookie is insane. So imagine, you know, by his third year, what he's going to be actually out there doing. So he has a very high ceiling. So what do you see from Wimby this year? And where do you think he can go? I mean, he's crazy talented. And to Gil's point, when you look at just a, a rookie being able to do some of the things he's doing and the impact that he's making, not just with the Spurs, but over the league. And to LeBron's point, no, he's not the first rookie to come in and, and be this good and dominate. But I think his, his size, his length, and the fact that he can do so many different things at such a young age as a rookie, I, I think his ceiling is un, unlimited. To LeBron's point, I don't think he has one. But for me, my question would be, and, and you all would know this better than, than I do, like his, his basketball IQ, right? Like I think absolutely your talent can take you to places that other people can't go. But I think if you add your, your basketball IQ in with your talent, to me, that could also determine just how great he can be. Yeah. And he seems to be super knowledgeable, high IQ. So I, we used to get on, we still do, his, his teammates for not passing the rock, but I was at that game Friday, and as I'm watching, I think the thing with them, they're so cautious with them, especially now that the season is basically cooked. They don't have any shot of making a playoff. Yeah trying to protect him. So there are a lot of opportunities he has to get lobbed toward the, the basket they don't throw. Mm. And I think about it, I'm like, yeah, I don't want him jumping up and you know, yeah, landing sure. in traffic and potentially injuring himself. He's playing like about 29 minutes a game. I think when you, when you watch him play, it's, it's easy to forget that he's just a rookie. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. A resident Wimby fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the, for the most part, I think with a certain level of talent comes IQ, because you have to have a, a, a know about what you're doing with that talent. Like I think that Ja Morant has a certain level of IQ to be able to do the things he does. Luca has a certain level of IQ to do the things he does. Um, but Wimby, to be able to try certain things out there, to be able to convert from playing international to coming over here to play NBA ball, there's a certain type of IQ you gotta have um, to be able to shoot a jumper, you know, at that size, soft touch, be able to shoot free throws. Like when Yao Ming came over, like he had a certain level of IQ that converted over to allow him to not just be 7'6", right? To be able to have a soft touch, be able to go left hand, right hand. And I think that with him over time, it's just going to be repetition. And that's going to come with work ethic. Yeah. Um, being able to say, I'm going to be in the gym, and I'm not just out here shooting a thousand shots. And I think, for me personally, I got back in the gym and understood the difference between getting in the gym, shooting shots, and making shots. And the repetition is going to come for him being able to, next three, four years, convert, being able to go 10 for 15 compared to 10 for 20. And being able to play 35 minutes and convert that yeah. over to efficiency instead of just coming in and saying, oh, you have potential and talent, converting that to professionalism, going in and saying, I'm gonna be repetitive with my talent and my IQ and put it together. Well, sure, I think the thing with Wimby, I mean, obviously he's always gonna be compared to David Robinson, Tim Duncan, mm -hmm. but a lot of people don't realize David Robinson was 24, his rookie year, did two years in the Navy. Tim Duncan, I wanna say was 22, his rookie year. Wimby started as 19, I think turned 20 in January. So you look at the stats, it's crazy. They were playing way more minutes, and he's putting up similar numbers, leading the league in blocks. So it feels like he's got, I mean, just like LeBron said, no ceiling. Hey, I think I'm going to start selling my DNA. <laughs> <laughs> what? I look, I'm, I'm watching LeBron, right? And he's talking, and I'm looking like, man, he's old, right? Hair's gray, beard's gray, he got gray chest hair, right? And I'm like four years older and I don't even got no grades yet like that. And I'm like, I need to, you know what I mean? If you wanna, if you wanna look 20 when you're 40, you, you need, you need, you need me. What? And I'm just saying, look, he, he 31, got great filet. Cause you great filet? <laughs> he 31, that's it, he's Great filet. Over here, grayed up. And I'm like, moved. man, I'm lucky. My barber I'm moved, like, I normally don't let my hair get this uncanny. That's what I said. But I'm you lucky. stress me out, that's why. 
Just I'm like, I'm about to. Don't worry about that. Gray looks good on you. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black looks great on me. It's just, <laughs> like, I remember there was, there was a point in time where I seen, I think, a Catino had the gray beard. And I was like, yeah. I can't wait to get that. And my dad was like, I mean, I don't even have that yet. He said, maybe when you're 70, I'm like, damn. Damn. <laughs> then he think about it. 42. I know, right? <laughs> He's Cuban, though. He ain't. It's, I ain't so no, Cuban. His real name is Hippolito. His real name is Hippolito. He's not from here. He's from another place. He came over on the boat. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to say, DNA in the chat, right? Ten thousand dollars a pop. Your little wow. blood sample. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, if you sell your blood, I mean, I'm so, I'm it has to be the blood that keep me young. I don't know. You got. But I was just blood. sitting there looking like. <laughs> Man, he, he really look old, right? Yeah. Now. <laughs> he he look, really 39. Did he look old to you in that clip? Because of the grays, yeah. He got the grays. Yeah, he looked, yeah. He got it, cat hair. It has, you call it the cat hair when it's like real thin up there. It <laughs> look like this. That ain't his hair, man. Just like, <laughs> that ain't his hair. Man, that little cat They joint. put that shit in there, nigga. <laughs> <That's> the, like, <laughs> you know, Trey Young, Trey Young got his oh early. Gosh. <laughs> that little cat hair, yeah. Oh. Special offer for you today. If you download the Underdog Fantasy app, use promo code Gil. <laughs> Gil will send you a vial of his blood. Man, like, Jesus. You may recreate Jesus. little Gil. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the ADHD that kicked in. I'm just like, they ain't got a lot of great That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you but, might but, as well paint that, young fella. Mocha brown. You gotta get that mocha brown just for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another productive day here at Gills Arena. Presented by Underdog Fantasy Woo Woo.